I just want to start off this video by saying, if you're a Catholic watching this, I love you. You are my brother or sister in Christ, and I'm not against you. When I speak up about these things, these are not directed towards a specific person, but a false belief system. Yes, I do believe that Catholicism is a false religion. And today we're going to expose the pagan rituals behind Catholicism, as well as the reasons why many Catholics seem to esteem Virgin Mary in a way higher fashion than the Bible actually teaches us. What's going on, guys? It's Big Nick back for another video. Thank you guys so much for coming back. Back to the channel today. Before we get into today's video, if you guys like Christian content, please give this video a like, subscribe to my channel down below if you are new, and turn on my post notifications so you never miss a new video. Without further ado, Let's get into it. Did you know that the statue that Catholics claim is the Virgin Mary is actually an old ancient pagan goddess? Now you may be like, whoa, what is he talking about? Is he saying that the Virgin Mary is a pagan goddess? No, I'm not saying that. The Virgin Mary was a real biblical character who gave birth to the Messiah, Jesus Christ. However, the statue of Mary in the Catholic Church is actually an old ancient pagan statue. So let me clarify one more time so this doesn't go over people's head. I am not saying that the Virgin Mary is a pagan goddess. She's an amazing woman of God that Yahweh used in order to bring us Jesus. However, she should not be venerated in the way that the Catholic Church does, and I'm going to teach you why they actually do this. One of the core elements of the Catholic faith is the veneration of Virgin Mary. Many Catholics, however, have been criticized by Bible-believing Christians that this veneration of Virgin Mary is actually idol worship. In Catholicism, many people believe that Mary has been given the title known as the Queen of Heaven. But why is that if there's no biblical evidence that Jesus crowned his mother as the Queen of the Kingdom of God? In in order to visibly see that the Catholic Church is just rebranded paganism, we must visit the date of its inception. Despite the common lie that Catholics claim, it was not the true church founded by Jesus Christ. The main fallacy that Catholics recite is that the Catholic Church is the true version of Christianity, and actual Bible-believing Christians are following the footsteps of a man named Martin Luther, who was the man responsible for establishing the Protestant Reformation in 1517. Although Martin Luther was a huge catalyst in many Christians leaving the Catholic faith, equating one man as the reason why many Christians reject Catholicism is a fallacy, and it's not true at all. Some born-again Christians, like myself, had no idea who Martin Luther was or what the Protestant Reformation was until after they studied church history. In fact, a little backstory, the first church I ever went to when I got saved was the Catholic Church, and shortly I left because there were practices that were clearly unbiblical and it made me question some things. And no, Martin Luther is not the reason why I broke away from going to Catholic churches. I had no idea who this guy was, like I said, until I studied church history. So it begs the question, when was Catholicism created if it's not the true church of Jesus Christ? Catholicism was created by the Council of Nicaea in 325 AD under the instruction of the Roman Emperor Constantine. Emperor Constantine supposedly had claimed to have converted to Christianity after failing to eradicate the faith preceding 280 years of heavy persecution, which was ordered under his as well as his previous Roman empiric rulership. At first, it seemed like he surrendered his attempt to persecute believers when he allowed religious toleration by issuing the Edict of Milan in 313 AD, which lifted the ban on Christianity entirely. However, this was not a surrender, but an attempt for Constantine to craft a new way on persecuting Christianity, a way that was so intelligent that it still has the same effect today. Emperor Constantine then claimed to have converted to Christianity around this time, but there is historical documented behavior that Constantine was still a pagan worshiper emperor, even after this supposed conversion. On the Arch of Constantine, which was a monument depicting the victory of his Italian campaign, he gives glory to the sun god, which was known as Sol, by inscribing him on this monument. Another suspicious act is after his alleged conversion, he brought statues and monuments to bless his new established capital, which was known as Constantinople. Two of these statues were pagan gods, one of them being known as the protecting goddess Rhea, and the god of good fortune known as Taichi. This is why I believe that Constantine had an agenda to blend Christianity with paganism, and his conversion was a mastermind plan in deceiving and persecuting Christians in a whole new way, which is what we know today as Catholicism. Now this brings us back to the original point of the video on why Catholics are so bent over the veneration of Virgin Mary. Now that we know that Catholicism's origins were created by the Council of Nicaea at the request of a pagan Roman emperor, we can start to see the link between Catholicism and ancient pagan deities. The reason why Catholics refer to Mary as the Queen 
queen of heaven is not because the Bible claims she is, but because this is rebranded pagan worship of the goddess known as Ishtar. Ishtar is a high-ranking fallen angel principality who has gone by many different names in various cultures. Babylonians called her Inanna, the Greeks called her Aphrodite, the Phoenicians called her Astarte, and the Canaanites called her Ashtoreth. Now here's where it gets biblical. The Israelites in prophet Jeremiah's day ended up abandoning the worship of the true god Yahweh and were heavily influenced by the Canaanites' pagan worship, which ended up leading the Israelites to worship Ashtoreth with the Canaanites. And this greatly provoked God to anger, as we can see in Jeremiah 7, 17 to 19. God says, Do you not see what they are doing in the cities of Judah and in the streets of Jerusalem? The children gather wood, their fathers kindle fire, and the women knead dough to make cakes for the queen of heaven. And they pour out drink offerings to other gods to provoke me to anger. Is it I whom they provoke, declares the Lord? Is it not themselves to their own shame? God was very upset that his own people abandoned him to worship Ashtoreth, who they referred to as the queen of heaven. They would also hold feast days to this fallen angel, as well as dedicating holidays to her. Not only do Catholics call Mary the queen of heaven, but they likewise hold feast days and dedicate holidays for her as well, even though the Bible never commanded for Christians to do this. Many Catholics celebrate a holiday known as the Feast of Assumption, which is based on the Catholic account that Mary ascended into glory on August 15th. The Assumption of Mary is a recognized Catholic holiday, and during this time, some cultures even provide food offerings in the same way that they did to Ashtoreth in the book of Jeremiah. Another link to the Virgin Mary statue actually being rebranded as Ashtoreth worship is in Jeremiah 44, 15 through 18, where the Israelites were documented to burn incense towards the Queen of Heaven. Likewise, the Pope also burns incense to the Virgin Mary statue. The parallels here are so in your face that you would have to be ignorant to ignore this. And this is kind of borderline blasphemy and witchcraft, considering that incense was only permitted to be burned for the true God, Yahweh. The Bible never commands us to exhibit this type of behavior. However, old ancient pagan traditions do command people to exhibit this behavior. So for some people who are curious why it seems like the Catholic Church has all of these traditions that we can't find in the scripture is because it's not of God at all. If it was of God, we'd clearly see it in the scripture. But we don't. Why is that? Well, I just told you why that is. Um, where am I going with this? Anyways, the evidence is clear that the reason the Catholic Church seems to hold these unbiblical practices to their core is because these practices are a direct result of the paganism that Emperor Constantine attempted to preserve in his fake religious conversion in an effort to subdue true biblical Christianity. And he was very successful in doing so, considering that Catholicism is huge, it's everywhere, and billions of people follow it. Virgin Mary is an amazing woman that God used in order to manifest himself in the flesh, but she is not given some special rank in heaven and she's most certainly not deserving of worship. Only God himself is deserving of any type of worship. Virgin Mary did not create the heavens and the earth. Virgin Mary is not the way to God. Any attempt to worship the Virgin Mary statue is merely the result of the Catholic Church's deception into swaying believers to worship Ishtar with a Christian label slapped on it. If any Catholics are still watching and didn't click away from this video in anger, I want to let you know that I love you, I'm not against you, and I am your brother in Christ. You may even hate me after this video, and that's fine. I still love you regardless. However, I urge you to come to the truth of God's word and leave behind the deception that Constantine may have taught you. Praying to saints, venerating Mary, and following man-made traditions that are not in the word of God is not what Jesus taught us to do. I urge you to come to the true church of Jesus Christ, which is not rooted in factions or man-made groups at all. I want to thank you guys so much for watching today's video. If you made it all the way to the end and you are not following traditions made by man or traditions that contradict the word of God, I want you to come Comment down below. We are the true church. I'll see you guys very soon for another video. I love you guys so much. May God bless all of you in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Take care and peace out. Ain't a game, Jesus who I claim. Yeah, he reigns. Cross up on my chain. Brand new lane, heaven my domain. The world I gain, but 